don't go into social media with the main goal to make money because then you set yourself up for failure. Do it because you love creating content to engage with others. I made 100 bucks on my first collaboration ever on Instagram and it was with, I think this one, it was a YubiKey, like this, this mm -hmm. thing here, if you can see that. And mm -hmm. it was like three years ago or so. And I was mm -hmm. like, man, somebody is paying me 100 bucks for some videos, right? And I was like, yeah. I was amazed. And this is why I believed in social media so much. And mm -hmm. it never stopped. And now, because you are like my expert on social media and collaborations, what is your take or your advice for beginner Instagrammers to make money on Instagram? So the first thing is, don't go into social media with the main goal to make money because then you set yourself self up for failure. Do it because you love creating content to engage with others or, you know, if you like phot photography, videography, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just be passionate about what you're doing on social media. When I started, oh my God, this is over three years ago. Um, <laughs> I did it because I needed a creative vent for what I, you know, because I, I couldn't put my photography anywhere and I was passionate about tech, passionate about photography. So I put it on Instagram. It took me three months before I actually started and I had like a catalog of 90 photos. But my first co paid collab was, I think, with Bitmonts. It was like <laughs> a little Bitmont. diamond for your... Oh my God, Apple I know watch. that. Oh my yeah. God. Dude, they paid really <laughs> well. They paid, I think I got paid 200 per post or something Ooh, stupid. Ooh, man. I that don't was, know. That's a lot, right? Yeah. And I did, I think like four or five posts with them. <sighs> um, but you have to, you have to think about a couple of things. First of all, there is expectations on the partner's side. So they, if, if, if they're looking at you and this is a trend from like two, three years ago, and it's still kind of viable. Brands are looking more for micro influencers because most of the time they do not charge. But what you get in return, it does not equal what you put into as work um, because they have this as marketing budget, whatever they give you as a sample. They're not looking for it in the first case. They're not looking exactly for you and what you can provide in terms of style mm. and, and, and quality. They're looking at the number of your account on the follower side. How many followers do you have? That and is your reach. canvas. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're not in it because of like, you're good at photography, you're just doing this because you want to educate people. And it's not about the quality of the photography, but the value of the caption or the value of what you bring across to your audience then you're very limited on making money in multiple ways. But if you're good at photography, and this is how I started with this, I offered brands not only, oh, I can post this on Instagram, but I can also provide you photography that you can use on the commercial side if it's good, if you like it. So in the beginning, before you really make money, and you don't want to make money one time, it shouldn't be a one-off thing. You have to put in a lot of work because it will be a brand that is working with you for the first time. They have to make experience with you. If everything mm. works well, if you're reliable, if you can provide the content, if you can hold deadlines. Especially if to, it's a big brand, right? Especially if it's a big brand. But if you can provide something to them, reliable and consistent, then it's worth more to them than the follower numbers that you've shown. But if you want to make money, you have to work for free in the beginning. It doesn't, it does sound stupid. And a lot of creators will say like, oh no, you should get paid no matter what you do because you put in the work. I'm not saying you shouldn't get paid, but you have to earn your keep in the beginning yeah, in order you can show to make them. money. Yes, you have to build like a brand reputation. You can show on social media and you, you have to something to show on your virtual social media CV to say, hey, I worked with brand XYZ and you know, I work with them on these campaigns. Yeah, like your highlights whatever. on Instagram, right? That's why exactly. this is like a yeah. great example. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.